Sujit, Microsoft is laying off 18,000 people. What's going on? Yes, so this announcement this morning was somewhat anticipated. The new CEO, Satya Nadella, last week had published a memo or a vision statement, if you will, outlining how he thought Microsoft should compete in the technology marketplace last week. And as soon as that was published, the question was in the marketplace, what does this mean for Microsoft's workforce? So this morning he did announce layoffs or job cuts of 18,000 people, which it's approximately 14% of Microsoft's workforce post the Nokia acquisition, uh, which was uh, closed in April. It turns out those job cuts, which sounds like a big number, and it, and it is, but the bulk of those layoffs are gonna happen at the Nokia unit, 12,500, which is roughly half the employees that came over with Nokia. So they're definitely concentrated in the phone hardware segment that they had just acquired. Now, Nadella has been CEO since February. What's interesting about the timing of this announcement? Yeah, what's interesting is you normally think of job cuts at a company that's struggling, it's uh, weak, they have to make uh, a big move soon to save cash flow and resurrect the stock price. Turns out Microsoft, uh, at least from a stock price perspective, has been pretty strong for the last year. Its shares are up 20%. Uh, obviously, the broader market is up, but they're a very big, profitable company. They may be in segments such as PC software, uh, Windows, Office, those kinds of things that uh, maybe are not growing anymore, but they still generate a lot of cash, and it's a very profitable company. The shares are way up. So it's very interesting that a company is choosing to make a very, a very big gamble or bet on big job cuts when the market has more or less endorsed uh, their strategy over the last year. So what's next for Microsoft? What should we look for ahead? Yeah, so in that memo or vision statement that the CEO had published last week, really what they're gonna focus on is being a cloud and mobile focused company, which is a bit of a departure, at least the mobile part. They had been uh, under previous regimes, uh, very slow to adopt to mobile. And so that's where they see the market going, even though they're a PC company by, by heritage. And so the CEO is making a big bet that they are going to be an important player in mobile and cloud. And so from now on, he's going to be judged on that metric, even if the rest of the company is very profitable. It turns out, um, as the stock prices run up, their valuation multiples are very high. And so there is some risk if the company slows down or the, the, the strategy is slow to take hold that the multiple could drop sharply and its stock price could be could be hit. So there's going to be a, a lot of eyes watching Microsoft for the next so, 6, 12, 18 months. Interesting times ahead. Thank you very much, Sujit. Thank you, Leslie.